Uh, my name is Bob Friedman. I'm a former federal law enforcement officer, and I came to know Tom Ganley in early 1980s when I became involved in an investigation of an extortion. And what I would like to emphasize is uh, my compatriots have talked earlier about his courage, and I want to bring a, that into a little bit of a higher perspective. Law enforcement officers in dealing with organized crime figures have an uh, unwritten immunity for themselves and their families because of the investigative heat, so to speak, that we could bring. Uh, they refrain from harming us or our families. Tom Ganley and his family did not have that immunity. They were fair game from the start. As a matter of fact, once it became known he had cooperated with law enforcement, there was actually a contract out on him and his family, his wife and four small children. But he never wavered. And uh, our relationship then became personal. Not only was he the victim of a crime, but he was a courageous helper in solving that crime and that became personal to us. And something happened recently that made me very proud. I have always raised my children to have their own minds. My 18-year-old daughter approached him at a social function and said she was going to be proud because the first vote she would ever cast uh, as a U.S. citizen would be for Tom Ganley in the uh, coming primary. And she was quite proud of that, and I became proud of it since she came up with that on her own. And uh, I thank you. For a young person to realize that Tom Ganley is a person we need in Washington that says it all.